Welcome to Consumer Update. I'm Kelly Lightborn. Joining me today is Siobhan Mullen, CEO of SAS Games and Bob Canigliero, Vice President of Marketing with the Casper's Company and McDonald's. And obviously you're the developer of this new game, Tibbets. So tell us a little bit about Tibbets. Well, Tibbets is a math and strategy game. Mm -hmm. Kids can play it as a board game or they can play it online. It's easy to learn like checkers, but challenging to master like chess. Mm -hmm. It engages kids to want to learn their math skills because if you can't wow. do your math skills, you can't win the game. And to entice them even further, we set it in a competition setting and we run tournaments for the kids to compete. So really? they practice at their schools and the best teams come out to play in tournaments. Wow, we, all, we love competitions. Kids love competitions. That's right. And what we did is we partnered with Casper's company, McDonald's, uh -huh. and we did that partnership so that we could provide a venue for children to come out and play against kids from other schools and kids throughout the community to wow. better their skills. What a great idea. Bob, what did you first think when they came to you and said, hey, let's do a board game at McDonald's? Well, I got a call from Siobhan's husband uh -huh. about a year ago um, to tell me about the game and to see if we'd be interested, interested in incentivizing some of these tournaments. And as you can imagine, we get a multitude of calls <laughs> wanting yes. to partner with us. And uh, he said the tournament was at a school, which is three blocks away from our office. And I said, OK, I'll come by and take a look. And I was amazed at what I saw. I saw van loads and bus loads of kids and parents and teachers coming into this school, with hundreds of kids, to, to compete in this tournament. And it's noisy and everybody's coming in until game time. Then all of a sudden, these kids are so engaged in this really? game. And I was amazed. I said, oh, I, I've got to <laughs> partner with this. this. This is wonderful. So I incentivized the game. However, what Steve and Siobhan have come to find out is that these kids are very talented and very good mm -hmm. at their individual schools. And they have a limited pool of who they're exposed to and being challenged. So Steve had the idea of Tivitz Tuesdays. Maybe Shimon could tell you a little bit more about the genesis of that. Mm -hmm. And this is where kids can book a seat at a particular McDonald's restaurant hmm. on Tuesdays mm -hmm. and compete with kids from other schools to practice and raise their skill level. Now, what a great idea. And so Absolutely. in the afternoons after school, Parents and teachers and kids are coming to McDonald's, a safe place that they know and love, and uh, getting better at Tivitz. So it's worked out real well. And all the McDonald's owner operators in Hillsborough County, we have 40 stores in Hillsborough, mm -hmm. but there are 15 others owned by other owner operators. And I told them about it, and they said, my goodness, yes, open the doors and every McDonald's in Hillsborough County is available for oh, the kids to do that's amazing. Same. I just want to clarify because what I'm hearing here is actually brilliant. It almost is like a triangle. Like we know that the kids love interactive things on the internet. Right. And it's got, you know, math is involved. So as a parent, I'm going, oh, this is wonderful. But then you're also letting the kids socialize. So they're not getting yes. too involved in the computer game. Um, tell me a little bit about how long it takes for the kids to learn how to even play this. Like what, what does that look like? To learn how to play the game is pretty quick. Okay. Once they get the basic movement down, they can learn to play the game in 10 minutes quite easily. And when kids play the game, they play it in a speed version. You see their hands moving very quickly. Uh -huh. And they have to score the game, and that's where the math problems come in. Ah. And what we did is, by putting it into a tournament setting, every year in January, all the kids in Tampa and the elementary schools start playing in their classrooms. And then in the April time frame, they start selecting the teams that will come out to a qualifying Great. tournament, which just occurred on May 1st and 2nd. And over 600 kids came out. And the winners of that earn seats to play at the championship, which will be held on Steinbrenner Field on June 1st. And the winner of that is the best of the 30,000 wow. kids in this school district. Wow. What's the feedback been with the McDonald's partnership, like the kids coming in? Like, wh what have you heard about that? Like, Oh, the kids love it, the teachers love it, the parents doesn't. love it. Well, it's a, it's a safe venue for the children. Uh -huh. They can come and hang out, and as you mentioned earlier, they get to socialize with other children they would not have otherwise met. If they don't do this kind of practice and they only play in the classroom, and they don't play other classrooms or other children, it would be like going to the World Series without ever having a season. You would just match up two teams and they'd play. Now they have a season, and they play against kids from other schools. They sharpen their skills, they get better at their math, they know where they're weak. 
and then when they show up for the tournament, they do much better. This is like a win-win, win-win-win. <laughs> well, we like <laughs> to think that for sure. Yeah, so Bob, what do you see the future of Tibbetts? Well, I, I'm hopeful right now, Hillsborough County is a pilot to see if this Tibbetts Tuesday program is going to work. Mm -hmm. I've already have received calls from other owner operators in the surrounding counties. When are we gonna get it? Wow. So we're hopeful that this will start spreading into the Tampa Bay DMA. That's uh -huh. about 11 counties. And if we can get them engaged, you know, McDonald's has um, a lot of 40,000 restaurants, restaurants <laughs> in 119 different countries. So God knows where this could potentially go, but that would be up to McDonald's to decide okay. if, uh, if they wanted to open their doors globally, you know, to a game like this eventually. That would certainly be nice. I, I just want to mention one other thing, if sure. I can, about um, the, the kids in Tibbetts Tuesdays. And the game itself it is, like Siobhan said, simple to learn. But kids are so engaged in online games and mm -hmm. winning. They, they love oh, to yeah. win in these games. The mathematical skills and the creative thinking and the strategery that they learn mm -hmm. is kind of a byproduct of it. You know, all of a sudden, at the end of the day, they're learning math skills and creative thinking and how to strategize and, and win these games. It's, it's a beautiful thing. It we really love is. when they don't know they're learning. Yes. Yeah. So, so how do parents find out more for their kids to be able to play? Where do we get Well, they can go to tippets.com. Okay. And there they can play the game online. They can buy a board game if they'd like to have one in the home. And most of the elementary schools and many of the middle schools in Tampa are also using the games in the classroom and after school. Well, a lot of great information today. Thank you guys both for coming in, obviously. Coming up, how Tivitz is motivating local students to engage critical thinking skills through Tivitz. Mm -hmm.